Florida is home to a huge array of invasive species, especially reptiles. The famous Burmese pythons, the pesky and destructive iguanas, the inescapable brown anoles. But one very strange and unexpected lizard has made its way into the state. One you might not know has formed breeding populations there. Chameleons. Being some of the strangest, most uniquely adapted reptiles in the world, chameleons have made a name for themselves, becoming some of the most well-known lizards out there. I'm Mikey Green, and my goal is to show just how little we really know about the strange creatures living their hidden lives all around us. Today, I'm making a trip out to the swamps of southwest Florida to track down a strange, mysterious, and elusive spider that has been invading Florida in recent years. My friend Edwin, who notified me of these spiders' presence at this spot, is here to help us find this rare arachnid. But while searching out here in this habitat, he also brought up a population of chameleons in the area, and I was not about to pass up this opportunity I've been waiting for my whole life. So I brought us here because almost every time I'm here and I put the flashlight up, uh, you see neon green. And that's either our veiled chameleon, which we're looking for today, or the night anole. Um, and so they just love hanging up out here, um, especially at night when they're not actively feeding. Um, they just go up there to roost because really nothing is going to come get them up there. And then they might come down lower uh, in the canopy to hunt for insects during the day, which is usually where I find them. Almost immediately we started noticing chameleons way too high up in the canopy. Until finally, after a while of searching, Edwin spotted the chameleon in the range of his long stick. Let's try to capture it. <laughs> yes, what a catch! What a catch! <laughs> Alright. This right here is a species of lizard that I have wanted to see for a very long time. This right here is a veiled chameleon, a species that is really not supposed to be here in Florida where we are right now, but one that I have been looking for here in Florida for quite some time and I'm so happy to finally be looking at one. Chameleons in general are just some of the strangest and most interestingly evolved lizard species in the whole world. Chameleons have their range through much of tropical and subtropical regions of the old world. There are no native species to the Americas. This species can be found around the Arabian Peninsula. However, there are many different species of chameleons that can be found in Africa as well. This one right here is called the Veiled Chameleon because of that crest on the top of the head, that gorgeous crest. These overall have a pretty large head with of course, that veiled appearance on the head. But overall, just like any other chameleon, these have some of the very strange adaptations that you might be aware of. Number one are those two eyes that can actually move separately from one another. This is pretty much a unique feature of chameleons, and this helps them very effectively pinpoint the location of a prey item, which these are mostly gonna be out here eating insects out in this very urbanized and disturbed forest habitat. Another really good adaptation that these use to help catch their prey is a very long and sticky tipped tongue that they can flick out of their mouths at extremely fast speeds. In fact, the tip of that tongue actually works kind of like a suction cup and will wrap around a prey item. So the prey item not only sticks to the tongue, but also is pretty much engulfed by it before it even reaches the mouth of this chameleon, meaning there's pretty much no escape for an insect that this chameleon locks its separately moving eyes on. Third are those insanely strange feet. At the tips of those long and spindly weird legs is an even weirder foot with the toes oriented on opposite sides of the foot, left and right. This helps them grip onto smaller branches than your average lizard would be able to. And as you can see right now, it is looking for another spot to hook those feet onto. And once it finds a perch, like my finger, it'll wrap those fingers around a stick or my finger, wherever it wants to, and is basically locked on. These things' grip is really good when looking for their prey. Another thing that helps with their grip is that prehensile tail, or that tail that they're able to curl around a branch or a leaf or some other object to help them keep stabilized, which makes them even more stable while walking through these plants to look for their prey. Now finally, and probably the most iconic trait that makes chameleons so unique among lizards, 
is their ability to change their color. Now actually what you might not know is many lizards can do this, especially many of the iguanid lizards, which is the overall arching group that contains the iguanas, as well as lizards like anoles and these chameleons right here. But while most of the other color changing lizards can only switch between maybe two or three different patterns, like for example, the green anoles being able to be green or a mottled brown color, but not too much in between. Chameleons, like this failed chameleon right here, are able to represent a wide array of not only different colors, but also different patterns. A lot of times you'll find these with bands on them of different colors, but this one is pretty uniformly green because it's trying to camouflage in with the bamboo that we found it in. However, there is actually a little bit of bright blue on the throat, peeking in in between the green scales. Now, unlike many other lizards that can change their colors, chameleons not only change their colors for camouflage purposes, but also to show their mood and as a display of aggression towards either a predator or another chameleon that is coming in to a plant where this one is already living in. Just take a look at this beautiful animal. It's a shame that these are here in Florida because they do not belong here. Florida has such a bad crisis when it comes to invasive lizards. Most of our lizard species here in Florida are actually not native to Florida. And that includes this failed chameleon and also I believe a few other species of chameleons that can be found here as well. However, the veiled chameleon is I believe the most common species to be found here in Southern Florida. Like I said, even though this is not supposed to be here, I'm absolutely honored to be up close with this amazing animal, something I've been wanting to see for my entire life out in the wild. And who knows, maybe one day I'll get to see a chameleon out in its native range, but for now, I will just finally appreciate seeing one out in the wild and not in a pet store. <laughs> what a beautiful animal this is right here. This chameleon was beautiful but the search for the mystery spider I dedicated this trip out across the state of Florida to must continue. But for now, if you're interested in learning more about invasive animals, make sure to check out this video right here, where we find a strange population of invasive hybrid fire ants in Georgia. See you there. They can more efficiently... It's the bell tower. <laughs> you wanna wait till that's over? Yeah. Okay.